you will see that the babies of the stilapia are growing now. And I estimated this to reach around more than a thousand. Well, this is quite an emergency because this area here had been destroyed by the ducks. And we did not spend too much about this cage because this is just made of light materials. And their conditions here are just so perfect as I can see. And this is going to be the start again of our rabbitry. Hi hey guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Three of the basic elements that I would like to mention to you now for our success. The first one is hard work, number two is resiliency, and number three is perseverance. Well, these three elements would bring us to our success. Allow me to just tell you something about this farm. When we had the old farm, we were actually shocked to be informed that it's going to be appropriated for public use. And then we had developed another farm. And it is not easy because this farm is a barren area. And we started from scratch. And there were so many challenges, the flood, and even the predators that are here. The environment actually is not good for a farm like this. But we were able to do the hard work to persevere and become resilient of the solutions that we are going to undertake in order for us to become successful. And now I can say that we have succeeded and still reaping in the future for the fruits of our success. For today's video, we will focus our discussion about our tilapia production. And then we will also make an update about our nine door apartment for our bunnies. And number three is the challenges that we are facing right here. Because as you know, we have so many ducks. I just came to know that these ducks are beginning to destroy our dikes. And I was informed yesterday that our dikes are about to collapse. That's why we are making this as an emergency. And you will witness what's happening as we proceed with this video. You guys can see that we have here this net. And this was before intended for the Azola. But I was so surprised that it was utilized by some of our fish, like this tilapia. The tilapia are actually intelligent fish. They know that if they're gonna lay eggs outside of the net, the babies will just be eaten up by the catfish because we have so many predators here like the catfish and even the ducks. And since by nature, this tilapia has the ability to protect their babies, they opted to lay their eggs here in the Azola. And then I was so surprised because our Azola were diminishing. And the reason for this is that the babies of the tilapia are already eating our Azola. And this comes as a surprise because I did not intend to produce tilapia. I only intend to, you know, raise the ducks and produce our baby catfish. But this tilapia came as a blessing and I'm so happy with this because they're so big now. And I believe that the tilapia and this catfish can blend or they can coexist because the, the catfish could not attack the tilapia because they are grouping. I mean, 
they will not scatter. They are swimming by group. That's why the catfish are also hesitant to eat them because they can protect themselves. And you will see that the babies of the stilapia are growing now and they're so visible now with our camera. And I estimated this to reach around more than a thousand. And if they're gonna grow big, that's the time that we will release them outside of the net. Meaning they will coexist already with our catfish. And if they're gonna multiply and multiply, this area here, this pond, will be filled with thousands of fish that we will enjoy feeding. And this is one of the objectives, to let people come here and allow people to feed our animals, the fish, the ducks, and even the geese and other animals that we can acquire in the future. Well, this is quite an emergency because this area here had been destroyed by the ducks. They are actually, you know, digging in to look for the shells or the snails, the skohol, and even the worms. And by doing so, they're also destroying the, the dikes. So we discovered last night that this dike here is about to collapse. That's why we do this as an emergency. And what we'll do here is to, you know, put this uh, wood and this bamboo in order to make us able to pile up the grasses and we will also use the, the mud. So we will put these grasses and then the mud in order for us to repair immediately this uh, dike here. Well, this is the reason why I mentioned earlier about the elements of you know success and in farming we have really to do hard work to persevere and become resilient and uh, part of our resiliency is to be able to adapt solutions to be able to provide protection for our pets and animals despite of this emerging problem and we have got to do a lot of work here but never mind we have to persevere because our goal is to be able to attain that success so you look at this, we're feeding our ducks here and uh, they're enjoying a lot. Actually when we came here, they were here already and they were eating a lot of shells or snails along the, the pathway or along the dikes and we just give them this food in order to divert their attention. They are destroying a lot our dikes. So we are already through with this project, this rabbit cages. and. If you can see here, this is made of bamboo and we did not spend too much about this cage because this is just made of light materials and you will see our, our technique here. This is our door and we will just insert here with, in the space provided in the middle and we will just lift this 
and then push down we can already open the door and you will see that our rabbits now are safety because as what I've said if we will not do this if we will free range them or even provide an enclosure there are still chances that they could be attacked by uh, the predators and their conditions here are just so perfect as I can see and this is gonna be the start again of our rabbitry and I'm very hopeful that in the coming months we can sell the meat of these rabbits because they're easy to produce you know the maintenance is actually not expensive because they're only fed on grasses but along the way we will tell you what particular age of the rabbits before we gonna introduce pure grasses because if we will also prematurely give them these grasses they will also die if they're so young so just stick on this channel because we're revealing secrets we are actually revealing our good practices for others to learn and even for others also to minimize the expenses of their farm so these are the things that we can share with you so far i'm so tired i perspired a lot we do a lot of work today and if you guys are not subscribed to this channel may handy ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos which are very informative and we are doing it on a regular basis so i would like to see you in the next video only here at dexter's world